All right, the first thing you need to do when you're getting ready to test your INR, obviously, um, you need to milk whatever finger you want to do. They recommend that you do this um, like this. Um, you also need to get your stuff ready, which is your meter, which is just an INR tester so that we don't get in trouble for copyright infringement. Um, when you're done, you're going to need to wipe the blood off your finger, and then you're going to need to use a Band-Aid to cover your finger and write your information down on your, your booklet here. And then you're going to use your telephone to call it in to the place that monitors your INR. Um, to begin with, you turn on the unit and wait for it to flash. Then you open up your little bottle of strips. Now your strips may be different than the ones I'm using. You'll notice that there's little arrows here, and you stick this in the slot in the front, and it should beep, and it should tell you the number, and that, should, that number should match the number on your strips, which it does, so we're good. You then push the button to get your machine to warm up. At this point, you can take your lancet and twist off the top, if that's the one you choose to use, which I do. It's much easier for me. And you milk your finger that you're going to use until such time as a machine gives you your countdown signal. Um, when it does that, it will uh, give you a countdown of roughly three minutes. So you have plenty of time with which to uh, apply your sample here on your machine. Seems to be taking a long time today. There we go. You notice we have a countdown starting, a little blood droplet telling me to apply blood, and then you find a spot, suitable spot on your finger. Um, I find that it's generally better to do it not on the side, not in the very middle, but somewhere between the middle and the side. Usually gives the best results. And I'm going to stick this in, and then I'm going to let the lovely Vanna here go ahead and milk my finger. <laughs> And as you can see, we got plenty of blood. And then we apply it to the strip. I use a second hand to guide it in. And then it'll beep at me. It should tell me down here that there's a little check mark saying quality control. A QC with a check mark telling me that it is good and it's uh, ready to go. Now the machine sucks the blood up into it and it will uh, give me a number and tell me what what level my INR is, and then I'm going to have to call that into the machine, which will tell him the results to my doctor. Um, he'll report to him sometime tomorrow. And this takes somewhere, anywhere from about 20 seconds to, to 40 seconds, depending on the battery condition. And not today, mine's a little high. Um, four is the absolute top range. Okay, four is a little high. It's at the top of my range. The doctor is going to uh, call me in the morning and tell me to uh, adjust my warfarin levels. So he's going to probably drop me down uh, on what my dosage is on a couple of days for next week. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the strip out and put it in my receptacle. You have to have a sealable receptacle to keep your old blood items out of. Um, we then turn off the unit so that that's done. We slide that out of the way and we can bring over the phone then to make the phone call in order to call in my uh, test to the, to the place that monitors it. And 